Vascular surgeons uh, usually deal with the blood vessels, uh, and these are mainly two big entities. The first one are the arteries, that uh, are the blood vessels that take the blood away from the heart. And there's two main entities or uh, disease pathologies that affect the arteries. The first one is atherosclerotic disease, which is the hardening of the vessels. And those patients typically develop blockages in it, and it can happen in any vessel of the body. The second one is aneurysmal disease, where the artery develops weakness in the wall and then it balloons. And it's a, it's a weak area in the artery and that can also be affected in any vessel of the body. So when patients typically present to vascular surgeons, uh, usually their presenting symptoms are related to the system that is being involved or affected. So for example, if the arteries are uh, what's involved, uh, including if they have a blockage in the artery, typically the symptoms are related to the organ that is being perfused. For example, if it's in the legs, typically patients have uh, claudication or they get calf cramping when they're walking or they can have a non-healing ulcer in the foot. On the other side, aneurysmal disease most of the time is asymptomatic and is picked up incidentally on an imaging study for something else that patients typically get, and the aneurysm is picked up. Uh, on the other side, venous disease is a little bit different. Uh, patients usually have either varicose veins uh, that cause significant pain in their lower extremities, or they can have also swelling, and on the other spectrum, they can have really significant uh, ulcerations in their lower extremities. So as vascular surgeons, because vascular disease uh, is a systemic disease, and this is something very different than the other surgical specialties, uh, the main gold uh, standard therapy that we offer for every patient is usually a uh, medical optimization, because this is really the gold standard. Um, and this starts with medications, uh, trying to uh, control the atherosclerotic disease, to smoking cessation, to exercise, to improvement in the lifestyle, one of the uh, different things uh, between vascular surgery and the other specialties is vascular conditions are chronic. And usually, even if we intervene on one aspect of, the, um, of their pathologies, usually because of the systemic involvement, uh, typically conditions can do develop you know, over time. And that's why usually we do follow our patients for a long period of time and then try to prevent further conditions to happen in the future. And if they do, usually we do intervene uh, afterwards. So the UPMC uh, vascular division is uh, one of the biggest divisions in the country. We are 18 vascular surgeons with uh, different people having different areas of expertise in this uh, very wide uh, field. Uh, so I think we can provide a very specific and high quality care for uh, patients with different conditions. At the same time, just because of the size of our division and the volume, we have been involved in many clinical trials and this gives us the advantage of having access to uh, a lot of the newer technology that we can provide patients with. And then finally, uh, we do um, manage patients, especially the complicated cases, with a team approach where most of these cases are discussed and uh, typically we come up with the best solution for the patients.